Well, hello everybody. Today is a pretty big update because for the first time, I actually have a ceiling in the school bus. It ended up turning out way better than anticipated. So these are all the vintage maps. Well, not all of them, but a big portion of the vintage maps that Wes had ended up going through and mod podging them to the, the ceiling. And when I first started looking at the maps, I was a little concerned that the color would be overwhelming and, you know, it wouldn't blend well. But being that we went with that gray paint on the side, uh, it just looks awesome. So all these are just maps from all over the world and just tried to uh, space them out with the colors to not get, you know, too much blue or too much land. And I think it turned out pretty amazing. So... The bus is definitely turning into more of a home. Like I was just sitting on the couch last night, just kind of looking around and it was just kind of a weight off my shoulders. It's just nice to finally get everything set up and, uh, and just done, you know? So they turned out awesome. You can typically find all these old vintage maps on eBay as well. So if you are thinking about doing this, this is a, little bit of an idea of what you might be dealing with. Yeah, other than that, it just feels so much more open and airy and clean for sure. It's so nice not having all the wires hanging out. I didn't realize, you know, kind of how, how much I would enjoy this once it got all done. But the only thing, it's not a map, is the decoration of independence. I put that right over the bed because I always sleep on this side of the bed so right above me is declaration of independence and then the maps all the way down so now that the interior is done i mean we're probably talking 99 percent done there's a bunch of other small things that needs to be done in here i guess it's not 99 because we still have the bathroom so just as a little idea of context that's what it looked like before that's what it is now just a massive difference i think we're going to go with a uh with flex seal white flex seal for the ceiling of the shower and then just use more of this this board that we used up top paint it the same color probably won't do any maps in the bathroom but just doing a bunch of small things in here to to finish up and it's been you know just adding up incrementally so for example just painted this guy flat black all flat black uh the um window frames painted in flat black with the gray it's just coming together really really well i'm really liking the way that it's uh that it's looking in here so after we get done with the bathroom we're going to start on the underbay storage and then painting the bus and after that we're pretty much going to be set with this bus and trying to figure out what's going to happen from there just with the virus with building mini buses with all this other craziness going on just trying to figure out the uh the next move and we'll see how it goes <laughs> what you got going on here wes <laughs> i'm drilling rivets out <laughs> um yeah getting ready to start this uh side of the bus put the under storage in so basically drilling all these rivets out I'm gonna have a piece of angle iron that goes in there and folds up here and we'll re-rivet back into these rivets with the angle. And that'll be the place to hang the new doors. And there's much more that goes beyond that, but that's what I'm doing right now. Awesome. There you go. Thanks for putting me on the spot. Like always, I'm getting your, your camera. Spitting out building. things you know we heard when we were kids, trying to pass it off the stuff we know. My dad's a tall tale teller. He's the best that I've known. And he can sell you something you don't even want. Wrap it up in a pretty bow. We've all got something that haunts us wherever we go. With every passing car, with the flicker of the radio. We've all got something, and of this one thing I'm sure, rich or poor, and we built our home. What do you think, Chris? 
I think it looks awesome. <laughs> I think we should just keep it like this. Just keep the big hole like that? Yeah. You got a lot of uh, ground clearance. You can drive up some crazy passes this way. I don't know if the bus will take it. <laughs> Actually, yeah, put it down in first gear. I think it would go about anywhere, huh? That A3 will push you through. <laughs> Inside him lived a boy. And he was hurting because the devil came flirting with his firstborn of pride and joy. There was a boy in Civil War time, and he wore a hat just like mine. And they said, Your daddy's falling, and the war is calling. Grab your gun and knife. Well, I'm a tall tale teller, just working for a chance to hit the open trail. Something that haunts us wherever we go. Memory passing car with the flicker of the radio. Smoking. Got something and I swung thing I'm sure. Each up all we built our home from the tales we've told. guys i didn't have the camera out today the wind was going like crazy and this goofy little gopro tripod thing doesn't work so well uh, the wind was just blowing it over so i didn't film a thing today but i'll show you what i've got done been working on this under storage as you guys have seen and kind of beef this little area up here may do a little bit more but there's going to be a generator that sits right here a big 15k generator uh propane so this thing's gonna totally just be uh, diesel and propane fuels only which is really cool um, and of course you can see some some of the framework I've been doing under here and it's turned out pretty good so basically what I'll do now is probably just start uh, skinning things here in a bit I've got to add a little bit of framework back over here in this corner um, we're going to go ahead and make that about three-quarter through storage rather than all the way through storage like these two bays. So it'll be this bay here through, that bay there through storage. The third bay here will be uh, like three-quarter storage. It actually will butt up against the uh, existing storage on the other side, as you can see over there, maybe, kind of. And then, of course, the first bay up there will be, you know, just for the... Um, uh, generator so anyway i'm done for the day I'm gonna go take a shower and eat some dinner we got the kobe's out there there's another dog right out there so he's all centered in on him okay go get him kobe's go get him <laughs> kobe's loves other pups so I was just finishing up the, uh, the edit for the video and I realized that none of you, at least that I know of, have seen the generator. So this is the generator that's going to be going in the bus. I got this off Jim and Debbie. I bought it off of them. Uh, they wanted something a little bit more quiet. They got one of the Predators from Harbor Freight and I bought this off of them. As Wes said, this is a 15 kilowatt generator. It's going to fit right in the bay there. As you can see, it is an absolute monster. Um, push button start, electric start on there. And, you know, this thing hasn't been started, I think, for about two years. Uh, Jim started it, tested it before he put it in his bus. I don't think he ever ran it. 
and we hooked the propane up. It turned over for maybe three or four seconds and started right up. These Honda generators are just absolutely insane and having one this large will be beneficial for the bus. Just in the way, you know, with all the lithium battery storage that I have, be able to just kick that on for a little bit, charge up the batteries, get it back to 100% and we'll be good to go. Uh, being that I do have that electric water heater, that is the biggest, you know, draw in this entire system in the bus. The fridge is, you know, pretty good. The iMac, I'm doing a bunch of editing. Sometimes that draws down the power, but not too much. And the mini split, which is uh, 1200 watts, you know, but on a decent sunny day, it's totally fine. Just run that with, uh, with air conditioning. So other than that, I mean, it's just very small power draws. There's nothing really major being drawn in here. So theoretically, when, when I have a lot of power draw, if I need to kick that water heater on or whatever I need to do, just get the batteries low kick the generator on, recharge everything, and we'll be good to go. And I recently just added this little divider. Um, got a stainless steel uh, shower tensioning rod uh, just with a drape, again, from Amazon. Uh, it almost looks like, you know, I showed this to Wes yesterday. It almost looks as though it was made for the bus. Like, it's a perfect fit. And it just blocks off the either heating or cooling elements, whether it be my uh, diesel heater here, the mini split from the front large area. So we have, you know, the big windows on both sides, the skylight. And I do have these blankets that can go up here, which I've shown on a different vlog. Um, just has these marine clips that go up. A little bit hard to do one handed and twist and that completely blocks off the front but there's still some you know wind that comes in so basically just separating the uh the air from the back where all the heating and cooling is to the front here to where it's just wide and open and you know got these big windows and these windows are great but they are single pane so they do let a lot of heat in as well as cold but another advantage that you know just happen to work out this way are these blinds they're actually a really good heat and cold barrier and they also come down in the second stage to let ambient light in so if it is during the day summer winter i can still get some light coming in from the windows and this is like a polymer like a plastic so it does do a decent job of having a little bit of insulation on the windows as well let me get back to work Got up at five, it is currently about nine. I'm gonna take Kobe's for a walk and then start working more on the bus. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll catch you next time.